I've been reading from the second chapter of Revelation. Revelation is the last book of the Bible. And in it, Jesus, who at this point has already been crucified and resurrected and ascended to heaven, he sends a message through his apostle John to show his servants what must soon take place. And in this book, he sends a letter to seven different churches throughout the region. I want to share with you about his letter to the church at Ephesus and what it might say to the church in America. He writes to them saying, I know your deeds, your hard work, and your perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked people, that you have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not and have found them false. You have persevered and have endured hardships for my name and have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken the love you had at first. Consider how far you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. So Jesus commends their deeds. He commends their hard work. He commends their perseverance. They are a church that strives for truth, testing the words and lives of people who claim to be apostles. They don't tolerate people who stray from the path of truth. They have been steadfast in pursuit of correct doctrine, in learning what scripture says and means. And yet Jesus tells them they have left their first love and they need to repent. How far you have fallen, he says. How can he say this about a church striving for truth, even to the extent of threatening the very existence of the church there? What was going so wrong? Well, Ephesus is good at truth, but they're not good at love. And Jesus finds this so wrong that he comments on how far they've fallen. 1 Corinthians 13 says, If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging symbol. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. The church in America has gotten good at striving for truth. We can fact check sermons, We can seek truth in so many places or many places where we can find good teachers. But what do we do with it? I fear we could come to a place where we value being right more than we value being in relationship. Not that I encourage minimizing truth, but I'm concerned that American culture today highlights what separates us more than what brings us together. And that is a culture that threatens to make us no more than a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. My prayer for us today is that the church in America can be a church that values truth, but always flavors it and handles it with grace. After all, Peter had this to say about love. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. But let's not build an altar to truth only for it to become a place where we sacrifice people. Love you guys. Hope to see you soon. Mm-hmm.